Hi everyone. This is the second tutorial for the checkout rules app. So in this tutorial, I will explain to you how to create height payments method uh, rule uh, to modify the payment methods which are displayed at the checkout. So let's click on create rule and then we can choose payment and then uh, it's showing us that there is one rule available which is height payment methods. So let's select this rule. We can optionally give this rule a name and uh, this is the status of the rule. So at first we can uh, Put the rule status as testing which means that we have to enter the first name as testing on the checkout to see this rule in action otherwise it will not affect the uh, checkout for your normal customers or we can activate this rule which means that this rule will affect all uh, all of the checkouts for all of your customers or deactivate it basically means to disable the rule <clears throat> so this is the actual logic of the rule so we can choose when this rule should run so uh, there are many conditions we can choose from so Let's say that we want to choose that when the order total quantity is greater than or equal to two. So then uh, hide payment methods using, we have two strategies here. So either it will hide these payment methods which are given below or it will only show these payment methods. So we can choose for example, hide this payment method and then we can add a payment method. Uh, I want to hide cash on delivery. So I can just uh, enter part of the name uh, cash. This is case sensitive. So we have to enter uh, with a capital C and then uh, we can simply click on create rule. So when the rule is created, we can click here to test checkout. So here we can see that we uh, we have in our cart a quantity of two. So we can try to check out and then uh, when we check out, that you can see that uh, the first name which we are using at the moment is Sam so this is not testing so it means that our rule will not run so that's why uh, here we can see on the payment methods we can still see cash and delivery but if we go back and then change the first name to uh, testing so this means that our rule should run now so we can continue to payment and here you can see that cash uh, on delivery method is gone so it's hidden now so if we go back to our rule and then we want to say that okay instead of hiding these payment methods i only want to show this payment method and then i can specify that i only want to show cash when the order total quantity is greater than or equal to two so i can update my rule and then i can go to the checkout and then i can see that the order quantity is two and then i can try to check out so if i continue to payment so here you can see that the uh, payment method there is only one payment method available cash and delivery as this is the uh, uh, setting which we saved in our rule that only show this payment method which are listed below so it's it's only showing us cash payment method so once we are satisfied with the rule then we can click on uh, active to make uh, to activate this rule for all the customers so then we can click on save and then uh, we can test the checkout again so here we can see that uh, let's try to check out with a quantity of one so our rule should not run so uh, we just uh, making sure that it does not run so here when we continue the payment we can see that all the payment options are displayed but if I go back and then I add the quantity of two so now when I try to check out, so here the first name is Sam. So which is this represent a normal checkout flow. So in this case, <clears throat> when I proceed to payment, then we can see that our rule runs and only cash on delivery method is displayed. So that's how you can easily modify uh, your payment methods, uh, how they are displayed at the checkout. That's it for this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.